All right, hey guys, it's uh, Poi from PoiPalace.com. Um, I have these uh, two Motorola talk about two-way radios. They are the MH230R uh, versions. Uh, they're the yellow ones, as you can see there. And um, it's pretty cool because I picked these up um, just for snowboarding and other things, uh, camping. Uh, hiking, all kinds of other things, and I read a lot of reviews about this, and uh, it's uh, not a lot of reviews online or unboxing. So I guess I'll do my part and uh, do an unboxing of it. Uh, you can see here it comes with uh, two radios. Uh, you can see here the green sticker says 23 miles, so that's about 35 kilometers, I believe. Um, it comes with a charging station and at the back there's two batteries and uh, a plug yeah that's a that's a that's a plug um, so let's go ahead and open it um, what else do we have to read here easy charging iVox or Vox NOAA weather stations I don't think they have NOAA up in here I'll have to read it up online but from what I'm reading online, yeah, there's not a lot of uh, NOAA radio stations up here. I think that's a that's an American sort of deal. So I picked these up from Electronic Pro Shop. Uh, he's uh, he's from eBay, and uh, he's selling them for uh, forty dollars US, and uh, they're pretty nifty. And I bought two of them. Uh, I just unboxed the other one, so I'm gonna unbox this one. So let's go ahead and unbox this. Let's get our scissors and cut it open. Okay, so here we are. We got the two radio sets, of course, right there. Wow, they look great. Uh, they're in yellow, so it's not hard to lose them if you're in the woods. There's not a lot of natural yellow colors. Here's the uh, volume. And uh, let's just remove the decals or the stickers. That looks pretty damn cool. The back. Okay, let's see if we could put in some batteries on them. So. Okay, so there's the uh, docking station. So when you charge it, just kind of put it on top like that. And you can see there's a, a back plate right there for positive and negative. There you go. Looks nifty. And accessories, we have the two clips. So you just put them at the back of the radio, like so. So you could clip them on your belt. To unclip them, just click on that. There you go. Done deal. And we have the plug. So pretty straightforward. Connects to the back of the Motorola charging station here, as you can see there, easy enough. And the batteries is right here. And let me read out what type of batteries they are so everyone online can see them. I don't even know which one they are. 3.6 volt, nickel metal hydrate batteries. Does it say how much? It doesn't say how much. So, I'm not too sure how much is in them. But, let's put them on, see if they work. Oh, what is that now? Security tag, we don't need that. Okay, positive and negative. There you go, let's put them back. Put the other one in so we could both work them. Okay, nope, backwards. Okay, all right, so there we are. Oops. 
Now let's turn these bad boys on. See what we get out of them. So let's turn this guy on. All right, so looks like it works. The channel one, as you can see, they're channel one, and then they're sub channel one. So let's see if it works. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put one in my uh, mouth here. Testing. Oh, that's a bit too loud. Testing, testing. Radio check, radio check. All right, as you can see there, it is working fine. So here is the push talk. And um, here, I don't know if you can see there, but here is the uh, sort of the ringer button. There you go, easy enough. And the other side has the same thing. Push the talk. And uh, there's a whole bunch of menus here. Now, let me whip out the other ones because I bought two of them, two sets. So let's turn these guys on and see how they look like. Yep, oh, they're already on. And these guys are on a different channel, so one, two, and then sub-channel three. So I'll show you how to change it here. So just click on the menu. Okay, and then we'll go up, positive. So we're gonna go channel 12. That's where I'm at. And then click on the menu again and go to sub-channel three. One, two, three. And then there's a whole bunch of options here, like changing ringers. I'll just leave it at default. And then you got the iVox, and then you got Vox, and then you got QT. I'm not too sure what QT is, so I'll leave it as is. You got ringer on or off, and then you got radio on or off, and then that long beep indicates that the menu is over. And let's do the same thing for this guy here, because I want to put them in all in the same channel. So best you change the default channel right away so that you don't get interference from other people who has the same radio. There we go, channel 12 and then sub channel 3. Okay, let's see if they all work. I am going to press the ringer button. And I'm going to test it out. Radio check, radio check. Radio check. So you can see there, it is working fine for all four. So it's going to be exciting for spring and summer where I am going to use them constantly with all my friends. And uh, I'm going to never, never lose track of them either in a mountain or in terrain. I don't think it's going to work what it's suggested to be, which is 23 miles. So that's 35 kilometers. But anywhere between 10 kilometers, I would say it will probably work fine so that'll be very exciting for me I am gonna love it and so that is my unboxing and sort of functionality on these radios again they are Motorola MH230R and they are 22 channels and I'm not too sure how many sub channels but there's there's a lot of sub channels in it so you got a billion well not a billion you got like thousands and thousands of channels in there Anyways, thanks for checking it out. Have a nice day.